Good evening, Philippines. Uh, this is Mike Padua, and we're back to our analysis for this Friday until Monday, December 3 to 6, 2021. And this weather analysis, English version, is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's uh, proceed now with our latest graph set, beginning today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday. The uh, severe tropical storm Yato, which uh, developed uh, a few days ago, has rapidly intensified the typhoon for the past 24 hours and it almost reached as a super typhoon but it's only a winds of 230 kph and right now it's moving past uh, to the south of Iwoto and farther away from the Philippine Sea so this is uh, a typhoon didn't enter the Philippine air responsibility so the name Odette was not uh, used so right now it's being uh, pushed by a strong high pressure steering ridge here to the southeast and uh, a frontal system is uh, connected already with this uh, on this typhoon I mean and it's accelerating at a speed of 33 kph towards the northeast so this is no longer have any chances of uh, returning back to our country and uh, we have another shallow low pressure area which developed uh, in the vicinity of Yap Palau area but this weather system the next couple of days will uh, dissipate as it moves slowly towards the west southwest while the uh, uh, this the strong northeast monsoon will continue to uh, prevail across our country particularly across uh, Luzon Visayas because of a uh, strong high pressure which is uh, over in the vicinity south of Wuhan, China which is uh, generating this uh, intense monsoon which so far this is the earliest, the strongest and the earliest uh, monsoonal system that we experienced uh, I, as far as I could remember the, uh, the the northeast monsoon way back in, the, in my uh, elementary and high school 1980s, 1990s early December they, they are already here Then so far uh, this uh, surge of the monsoon is somewhat earlier than uh, expected usually they uh, come around Christmas time or mid-December but so far so good this is bringing some cooler conditions across Luzon and Visayas including Mimaropa and the West Philippine Sea so it's really an intense uh, uh, monsoonal wind flow and also the northeastern portions of uh, Mindanao is uh, affected by this uh, uh, monsoonal flow. Meanwhile, across Mindanao, mm, we have here the uh, surface trough uh, connected with two shallow LPAs, the one to the west of Borneo and another one in the vicinity of Palau Yap area. So this is nothing to worry about since it's so weak and it will start to decay in the next couple of days. And so far until uh, Saturday or Sunday, the northeast monsoon will continue to prevail across our country, becoming weaker by uh, December 4 to 5. And uh, on uh, late uh, December 6 or 7, there will be another surge of the uh, monsoon that is expected to affect Luzon. So watch out for that. So far, uh, that's the uh, latest from our uh, GravSat. Uh, there's nothing uh, uh, serious on the weather except for the northeast monsoon. So expect uh, big waves uh, across the uh, Philippine seas. And this is what about by the northeast monsoon. So expect two to three meters of uh, of large waves generated by this northeast monsoon, which will become uh, dangerous and risky to all uh, sea crafts. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, the uh, fast animation, you can clearly see here the uh, typhoon already starting to weaken as it zoom towards the northeast to the south of uh, Iwoto. And here comes the uh, 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 disorganized circulation of another shallow LPA in the vicinity of Palau Yap area. So so far, this one uh, this system won't intensify. For the next few days so that's the latest and if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation you can uh, observe here that uh, strong thunderstorms will continue across Mindanao and the uh, 
southern portions of uh, Sulu Archipelago because of the surface trough. And here comes the shallow LPA right here. While the rest of the zone will have the sunny to cloudy with some passing drizzles or light rain showers along the, uh, particularly along the eastern sections of the zone, including the Waco region and the portions of the Visayas and Bimaropa. And if you take a look now to the late on the last track of Nyato, it's clearly see, seeing. We are clearly uh, observing the, the system that it will continue to move for the next three days before it becomes an extra tropical cyclone or uh, be absorbed into the passing uh, frontal system to the northeast. So this is no longer, this will be the final uh, track of this uh, system based on our uh, uh, MWF nightly update. So uh, we must be thankful to our Lord that this system didn't uh, enter the par and if you take a look at the uh, computer models they are all the same that it will uh, continue to track towards the northeast and let's take a look now to the late uh, on the latest rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days from windy.com this is from the european model so today until monday we expect some showers along the um, northern and eastern sections of the zone including mauban uh, area here in uh, northern Quezon and also some showers, light sh uh, rain showers will be expected across the Bico region and uh, Visayas. There will be uh, sunshine in between but uh, also uh, there will be more cloudiness generated by the northeast monsoon. Now here to the west of Palau, to the west of Brunei, now here to the west of Brunei, now here to the west of Borneo, we have a shallow LPA uh, forming, but it's not expected to visit our country. And uh, there's another one here in the vicinity north of uh, Palau. So the uh, effects of the uh, uh, surface trough will continue across these areas. And if you take a look now to our latest uh, pressure and wind forecast from the European model by tomorrow afternoon, we still expect to uh, have some visa conditions of 30 to 60 kph along the uh, uh, Luzon area down to Visayas. And on Sunday, uh, the uh, northeast monsoon will start to weaken just a little bit but expect some uh, wind conditions as well, busy conditions across the eastern sections of Luzon and uh, uh, the rest of Visayas. And if we uh, move into Monday, December 6, the uh, northeast monsoon will is still there, starting to re 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 regenerate. Okay, and we have here a uh, uh, f uh, surface trough. So nothing unusual or possible formation where tropical cyclone can be seen. So it's all clear until Monday, uh, December uh, 6. Actually, all the way until December 12, it's all it's still all clear except for the emergence of the northeast monsoon or in Tagalog, hanging amihan. Okay, so there you go. That is, those are that's the latest for this uh, Friday to Monday, December 3 to 6, and we'll be returning on Monday to give you more update on the weather situation. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Potter reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag WeatherWiser. Happy weekend to all, and thank you so much for watching our channel.